The following is an Immunogenicity 101 e-course presentation on immunogenicity and biosimilars, opportunities and challenges. Hi, I'm Joseph Marini, Scientific Director in the Biotechnology Center of Excellence at Janssen Research and Development, LLC, one of the Janssen Pharmaceutical Companies of Johnson & Johnson. As a disclaimer, the views and opinions stated in this presentation are my own and don't necessarily reflect those of Johnson & Johnson. The learning objectives of this e-course are to, one, define a biosimilar and show how it differs from a reference innovator therapeutic. I'll use the term reference throughout this presentation to denote the original innovator drug. Two, understand the regulatory guidances that are in place for biosimilars. Three, discuss how factors that affect immunogenicity lead to a variety of challenges to developing a biosimilar therapeutic. Four, discuss the advantages and disadvantages of using one or two assays to assess immunogenicity during a development program for a biosimilar. And five, discuss the immunogenicity concerns when considering the interchangeability of a biosimilar with a reference therapeutic. How does one define a biosimilar? The U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, the European Medi Medicines Agency, EMA, and the World Health Organization, WHO, have equivalent definitions of a biosimilar. Let's look at the FDA definition first. The FDA says that biosimilar means, quote, the biological product is highly similar to the reference product, notwithstanding minor differences in clinically inactive components, unquote, and that, quote, there are no clinically meaningful differences between the biological product and the reference product in terms of the safety, purity, and potency of the product, unquote. This definition has four parts to it that are carried throughout the other regulatory agency definitions. One, a biosimilar must be a biological product, like their originator reference products. Biologics are medicinal products produced in living cells or organisms, such as bacteria, yeast, human cell lines, animal cell lines, and plants and encompass a wide array of biopharmaceuticals, ranging from vaccines and gene therapy products to proteins, blood components, cells, and tissues. Types of biological products include some peptide therapeutics, monoclonal anti antibodies, receptor fusion proteins, and substances that are similar to key signaling proteins. For this presentation, I will mostly focus on monoclonal antibody therapeutics. Two, a biosimilar must obviously be similar and similar to an already approved reference product. Fourth, a biosimilar must be similar in terms of quality, safety, and efficacy.